the U.S. announces new rules for drone users. We'll take you to a class where local flyers are learning how to use them legally and safely. The FAA has proposed a set of preliminary rules today for small drones. These rules would allow the unmanned aircrafts under 55 pounds to do things like monitor crops, take aerial photographs, and inspect bridges. The aircrafts would not be allowed, however, to fly at night, close to airports, or out of the operator's sight. The FAA says the final rules are about two to three years away still. Meanwhile, a South Florida man is taking drone safety into his own hands, and he's doing it right here in there Central Florida, boot camp style. One axis and essentially is not motorized. I'm here to fly safely and to have fun. Orlando pilot Roger Selge was one of several students at an intensive, hands-on drone boot camp in Longwood. His passion for flying, and more specifically flying drones, evident. I love the technology that's in it. It's been uh, fast and coming and more accurate. I like the energy efficiency of it. Okay, there's no gas, there's hardly no noise, uh, it's responsive, um, and it's, it's fun. But Sunday's drone training was less about fun and more about safety. Of concern uh, if you lose control of the helicopter over people. It's the same with flying an airplane. If you've crashed, or you've had an unintended, uncontrolled descent, okay? The very first thing you want to do is check the integrity of your batteries. Drone boot camp trainer Roy Caswell says charging and storing drone batteries properly is key, but it's just one aspect of drone flight safety that he focuses on in this class, a class that also includes instruction on how to build, maintain, and repair drones. The fundamental purpose of today's class is to build a better educated, better skilled group of people that are flying these radio controlled aircraft. And today's drone boot camp was only his second, but Caswell says he is planning to continue having them once a month.